was a fantastic, super fun trip that uh, included a lot of firsts for me. So uh, I'm going to start this off with uh, Christmas 2012. Um, my boyfriend at the time, Philip, had surprised me with my favorite gift ever so far. It was a trip to Las Vegas. He had been promising to take me on a trip for about a year. And so he told me that he was going to take me to Las Vegas. He had everything planned. He had talked to my boss, gotten a week off of work for me. He had the flight arranged, the hotel arranged, everything like that. Plus he told me that the trip to Vegas was only half of the gift. So I had a surprise plan. So um, after 12 days of waiting, it was finally time for our flight, which was my very first flight, but we finally arrived in Las Vegas. Our uh, first night, got some pictures of just cool stuff in Las Vegas here. That's my favorite picture. So our first night in Las Vegas was pretty crazy. Um, we went to see Absinthe, which is kind of like a really small Cirque du Soleil show, a really small, really dirty Cirque du Soleil show. It's like for, it's definitely rated R. So that was a lot of fun. Um, we had a full breakfast with a $4 carafe of wine at a Chinese food restaurant at 1 a.m. So I thought that was also pretty cool. Plus we went on my first trip to a strip club. So uh, that was a lot of fun as well. We were out about 4 in the morning that night. Which meant that getting up the next day was very difficult. We had to get up early for the surprise he had planned for me, which was a helicopter ride from Vegas to the Grand Canyon. So we end up getting to the Grand Canyon, or we get we take the helicopter ride, we pass over the Hoover Dam, which is awesome. That's one of the pictures we took from the helicopter of the Hoover Dam. And after that, after the helicopter ride, Grand Canyon right there, we ended up making it to our destination. We had to take a short bus ride to the Skywalk, which is, um, I don't know if you all have ever seen it, this really cool building that that little part that's sticking out right there, the floor is glass, and so um, you can see like 1,200 feet underneath you. It just like drops 1,200 feet underneath you. So when we finally get to the Skywalk, this little area where you see the people standing is uh, where I was standing looking out at the Grand Canyon for the first time when Philip turned and asked me if I could think of any better way to spend our anniversary, which I said no. And he said, well, I can. And then he got down on one knee and proposed to me there. So that was really awesome. When we celebrated that for a while with a few people that were there with us. And uh, we decided to go out to dinner that night. While we were out to dinner, we decided that we neither wanted to plan a wedding or pay for a wedding. So we decided while we were in Vegas, why not just go ahead and get married while we're here. And Vegas has very much streamlined the whole marriage process. So within an hour, we had our marriage license, we found a chapel, and we got married by a pastor who had a lazy eye and told us very many times in large detail how much he liked horses. Our witness was a Vietnamese woman named Arlene Garcia, who was very set on us being married in the Hawaiian room, which I did not let happen. No, that one. So... This, I skipped some, sorry. This is the room we actually got married in. We didn't get a whole lot of wedding pictures just because, um, you know, it wasn't, we were wearing our like leather jackets and stuff. But uh, after we got married, we took our limo ride home. We uh, went to McDonald's for dinner and had Walgreens champagne for celebrating. So the lesson I learned from this story is that what happens in Vegas does not always stay in Vegas. And that's it.